Oh, 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 my bad, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the Vampire Diaries. Alright, so as y'all know that I am a Vampire Diaries fan. I am a Being Human fan. Of course, I'm an Arrow fan. Um, I just don't do any reviews on them. But I was looking at this, man, and I gotta talk about this because this is a hot mess. And, <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be going into this and all, but... When I think about the relationship with uh, Damon and with Elena, <clears throat> relationship is so interestingly interwoven with the story of everything. It's like it's like you got you got Stefan and you got Elena that are literally perfect for each other and they were made for each other. Even like based on how the travelers have been coming and talking about the mythology between um, the doppelgangers and stuff like that, and it's like. Damon and her, like Damon is psychopath. Damon, narcissistic, he's sadistic to a degree. He's been tortured for years. He's been played with for years. He technically didn't want to be a vampire and then like he got engulfed into it. And it's just like, he's got so much baggage, it's not even funny. But then to be honest, Elena has so much even more baggage. Everybody she cares about or loves just dies. Her family's dead. Her parents died in a car crash before she even got turned into a vampire. And, I mean, her brother died, she set the house on fire. I mean, she's got she's got a lot of stuff in here, but inside of her heart, she's a good person. Inside of her soul, she yearns to be even better person. Like, that's why she has so much guilt. Um, Damon, he is a great soul. He, he He's a great person internally, but he he has to accept that the bad things that he does is who he is. If he, if he for a second, like, gets too lost in being good, then he knows he's gonna mess up and he's gonna mess up terribly. And so it's better for him to keep himself immersed in that he's bad for her or bad for the people, he's not a good person, which he isn't technically, um, but in his core he really is. And to me, it's like, if you got two cores together, I mean, you should make them and merge them together and keep it like that. And so it's like now, I mean, they're going through these phases in the Vampire Diaries where like Elena and Damon are broken up and it was like to me I mean I've heard that the ratings have dropped and I mean I feel like that this is enough for the teen drama to me I mean if if it got to the point that it started from season one all the way now to season five and it ended up with them being together why separate it at this point? I mean, I know a lot of the teen drama, you go back from this person, you go back from that person and stuff like that. I personally, I mean, when I find the person, when I find the, the young, beautiful uh, woman that I'm supposed to end up with for the rest of my life, like once I find her, I, I'm, of course I'm gonna mess up because no person is perfect, but there's not gonna be any need for me to be looking around. Even if I look with my eyes, my heart is supposed to be with that person, you know? Regardless of the past, regardless of who I've loved in the past, it's supposed to be standardized at a certain point, you know? Because that's just, that's the evolution of growing up. But <clears throat> it's like with this, it's like, there was no need, in my opinion, for the story to go and break them apart. Um, because it's just gonna go right back together. And it's like, to play on emotions with Stefan, I feel like, since Stefan went through everything he did with Silas, it's like they're going through storyline, 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 and they adding stuff. It's like when Stefan killed Silas, I mean, I was okay with that, you know? I mean, but they could have kept Silas alive for the remainder of the season to go off of that with the Travelers, to have a real competition so Stefan can become his own. And I mean, even when he got past the post traumatic stress disorder with being inside the tank. I mean, I felt like Caroline was that person that picked him out of that, you know? Instead, they tried to concentrate on Catherine, then they go and kill Catherine. And it's like, I mean, they're going so many different places with it. And I feel like, as a viewer that's loved this series from step one to step now, I feel like they don't have to keep on trying to outdo themselves. I feel like they can keep at least one thing consistent. It's like, even with Jeremy and, um, oh my gosh, how can I forget her name? Bonnie. Like that was something that was built all the way from there and now Jeremy is just all of a sudden talking to some other girl and all of a sudden now he doesn't fight like he used to and now like Bonnie is basically kind of useless and it's kind of like pushing her character away in my opinion. Just for him to go and talk to some other girl, it doesn't make sense. It's like, 
you can keep two relationships on the show without worrying about all stuff. It, 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 all you have to do is worry about threats. Like you can go and put their lives in jeopardy or go and say if Bonnie gets put in the hospital and Jeremy has to do what he can to fight to keep her alive. I mean, those things are fine, but there's no need to dramatify it so much that it becomes convoluted for the whole viewers and for everybody. Because now it's like, I feel like when I look at it, I'm enjoying the show, but then I'm like, why? Why are they doing this? Why are they continuing to go back and forth with these characters? Damon and Stefan, like the way their dynamics are for their friendship and for their brotherhood, it was built better because of the relationships that were given with this girl. But at a certain point, she picked, but then she chose somebody else, and that happens, you know? And there's no need for him to, them to keep going back and forth with it. So now it's like a trailer for them, like, having some random dreams about each other, Stefan and Elena. And it's just kind of stupid to me. I mean, I feel like they should just keep it standardized. Yes, couples have problems, but that doesn't mean they have to go back and forth with stuff. And now she's going to be kind of going back and forth with Stefan. That just doesn't make sense. And I feel like the viewer is going to be distorted because of that. And nothing, even with originals. I feel like originals is doing kind of the same exact thing. And it's like, they pay so well to now you got, like, Marcel, like, somebody else. And, like, because, like, one of the... <coughs> One of the uh, the main cast members goes and just wants to have a sabbatical. Now they just turn all out of sorts. And so, I mean, it's just like, keep it straight, y'all. Just, I mean, work with the characters how they are and evolve the relationships that can grow. It's just like with Stefan and Caroline, they should already be in a relationship, if not talking or if not dealing with the feelings and stuff like that. And then add added tension back and forth with that because everybody forgets that Damon used to be with Caroline a long time ago. But it's like you keep going back in circle, it's gonna be just stupid. It's just gonna be melodrama versus like a standardized story, which that's what y'all found it on. Anyway, I just wanted to rant about that. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your comments at the bottom. If you like this video, like it at the bottom. But I just wanted to rant on Vampire Diaries. I might do this again later on something else. SEL00 out. <clears throat>